Marco's former best friend claimed Code Royal strategically shut down marriage. Meghan Markle's estranged best friend, Nikani Pretty, shed light on the now Duchess of Sussex's divorce to ex-husband Trevor Anderson, claiming she was cold and calculated in the way she handles the relationship. Meghan Markle and stylist Jessica Morani have been friends for years. Miss Morani was heavily involved in planning Meghan's royal wedding to Prince Harry in 2018, and her children were among the flower girls and page boys in the wedding reception. However, it has been widely reported the Duchess has now cut ties with Miss Morani due to a role on social media with black influencer Sasha Exeter. Miss Exeter claimed Miss Morani had sent her a string of abusive messages and threatened to ruin her career after taking offense over one of his posts, in which she had called on people with large social media followings to speak out about Black Lives Matter. The spat led to the cancellation of Miss Morani's wedding themed reality TV show, I Do We Do, as well as the loss of her Good Morning America fashion slot. However, said the Canadian socialite has been met with silence from Duchess of Success and has been warned that she is unlikely to be readmitted to her inner cycle. It would not be the first time Meghan has lost a friend, though. The Duchess of Success is said to have cut Nikani Pretty out of her life, with whom she had been inseparable since the age of two. The, their extraordinary bond spent 31 years of sleepovers, a holiday in Europe as 15 years old, including a picture opportunity to outside Buckingham Palace and road trips across the US. However, their relationship appeared to come to an abrupt end after the Duchess divorced her previous husband, Trevor Anderson, in 2013. Recalling Meghan's first wedding, Miss Pretty told the Daily Mail, Meg literally shone with happiness. We'd been like sisters since we were two years old, so I knew she'd always wanted to get married. To see her finally doing that was, well, it was a big deal. It was such a moving wedding. I started crying the moment I saw her in her dress. We had a ceremony on the beach. It was so beautiful to watch, beautiful to be a part of. They each wrote their own vows. They loved each other so much. Meg had just finished their first series of suits in which she played bewitching paralegal Rachel Rain, Jane. It was a big part for her, her first full-time role. She'd hustled for years to get there, so that was huge. Uh, Trevor was so supportive. He traveled back and forth from Los Angeles to Toronto, where suits is filmed, and there was a lot of Skyping and FaceTiming going on. It was an exciting time. This was the man she wanted to have children with. Miss Pretty said her own falling out with Megan came up after she disapproved of the way the pharmacist actress ended her marriage. She explained, The person I knew is not there anymore. Meg used to tell me she couldn't imagine a life without Trevor. She said if anything were happened to him, she wouldn't be able to go on. He cherished her too. You should have seen the way he used to hold her face in his hands. We all felt he was internal love. It was such a shock when she told me they were getting divorced. After about three seasons of suits, she called me and said she wanted me to know because it was going to come out in the papers. I knew they fought sometimes, but it wasn't anything huge. The only obstacle was the distance because she was living in Toronto and Trevor was based in LA. Mr. Pretty said she thought they would have maneuvered though it had been it, it as best they could as she wasn't aware there were any problems in the marriage. She then revealed that she felt bad for Megan's ex-husband. She said, a month after the divorce, I wanted to see how Trevor was doing. We met and talked. It's not up to me to speak with Trevor, but I know he was all he was traveling to Toronto every few weeks and would have walked the earth to make their marriage work. I don't believe she gave him enough of an opportunity. I think there was an element of out of sight, out of mind for Megan. The way she handled it, Trevor definitely had the rug pulled out from under him. He was hurt. Megan reportedly began dating celebrity chef 
Kari Bilato, who also lived in Toronto in 2014, a few months after her separation from Mr. Anderson. Mr. Pretty added, I tried to get details from her, but she wouldn't tell me. What came to light after Trevor and I spoke ended my friendship with Megan. I think everyone, everybody who knew them both was in shock. All I can say now is that I think Megan was calculated, very calculated, in the way she handled people and relationships. She's very strategic in the way she cultivates circles of friends. Once he, she decides you're not part of her life, she can be very cold. It's this shutdown mechanism she has. There's nothing to negotiate. She's made her decision and that's it. Despite what Miss Pretty claimed, Megan and Mr. Anderson were granted a no-fault divorce in August 2013, citing irreconcilable differences. In November 2017, when his former wife became engaged to Prince Harry, Mr. Anderson attracted Attack, attracted significant media attention. However, he remained incredibly tight-lipped about the Duchess. He has since remarried and he and his new wife, Tracy Curland, are expecting their first child in September. Mr. Pretty, who is a jewelry designer based in Los Angeles, has not been associated with Megan since 2017. Despite their 30 year long friendship, she was not invited to Meghan and Harry's royal wedding in May 2018. Earlier this year, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their intention to step back as senior members of the royal family. They eventually relocated from their temporary Vancouver Island residence to Los Angeles in March as they began their new post royal lives. The couples are said to be leaving in Tyler Perry's Beverly Hills mansion. Megan is understandably thrilled to be, to be back in her hometown of Los Angeles, and her mother, Dora Raplin, has reportedly moved in to help out with Archie.